this is for all the marbles, essentially. Whoever wins this is the national champion for that year. Chemi Car is an organization that we have here at the University of Utah. We get together and we plan out a model car that will be powered and based on a chemical reaction. This is the actual vessel that we will charge with hydrogen that will run our fuel cell. This year, our chemical engineering car runs off of a reaction using oxygen from the air as well as hydrogen provided by a pressure vessel that's built onto the car. This reaction is, takes place within a fuel cell which provides power to an electric motor and drives our car. Currently we're prepping our car Lola for the national competition in Minneapolis. Some of the trial and error things that we're doing at the moment are checking to make sure the car runs straight and runs the set distances that we require. We go through various tests. We, we perform various runs on our car to find out how fast the car runs for one, but also how fast the reaction takes place on the car. You're using a lot of the chemical engineering concepts that you've learned, but you're also branching out. Building the car itself uses things that mechanical engineers might study. The reactions involved would be things that uh, chemistry majors would study heavily. The most exciting part is um, seeing all the hard work that you did come together and watching your car run. I think our chances this year are really good. Uh, we've worked with this car a bunch in the past, so we have a good handle on how to problem shoot, uh, anything that should arise at the competition. Very well prepared for the upcoming competition. After a year's work and effort put into the car, we took it to the National Kimmy Car Competition in Minneapolis and competed against a bunch of teams, uh, 34 in total. An hour before competition started, uh, we got our distance and our weight. Uh, we were supposed to reach a distance of 68 feet and carry a payload of 350 milliliters or 350 grams of water. It's always a nerve-wracking experience when you take the car up to the line. You've got you know several hundred people looking at you, there's people cheering and stuff. And you always want to do well. Is it going to work like it's supposed to is the, the main question going through everybody's mind. And so you put it up there and you turn, you flip the switch and you hope it does well. Our first run we were still working on the calibration of the reaction and so the distance we were aiming for was 68 feet and after our first run we managed to get 28 feet. We spent the time before our second run uh, fixing the reaction. The education and the working together and having practice with it so much really paid off. The team was able to really come together and get everything going just like it needed to go. So after our second run we managed to get within four feet of the 68 feet distance. We ended up getting 12th place out of the whole competition. Without that background on the reaction and how the car works, there would have been no way we would have been able to uh, do as successfully as we did. You know, we always have some issues with something not working, being broken, or yeah. uh, equipment on site being not what we had ex expected. But people know that, you know, they're going to overcome those issues, use their knowledge and whatnot, and overcome those, those technicalities. I really enjoy being able to represent the U. Stop. That's a nice one for University of Utah.